Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running back from uh, Yale University. Um, uh, actually, only came on the team right now. Um, but but yeah, it's just a, it's a great, um, you know, great honor that we do. Uh, that we looked at for this uh, award, and uh, uh, it's obviously really exciting. But you know, it's, uh, it's not it's not all on me. Uh, obviously, first and foremost, uh, all the guys going to go to my offensive line, and uh, you know, those guys are. Uh, out there every single game, um, you know, getting their hands dirty and, uh, you know, uh, blocking their butt off for me. Um, and, you know, a lot of the time, uh, those guys don't get enough uh, credit. So, um, you know, those are the first guys, you know, I love those guys to death. And, you know, they put themselves in the line every single game just to, you know, uh, watch others be successful. And I think that's truly um, a selfless, selfless position. And, um, and, yeah, so those guys did a great job this year. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, in my opinion, you know, that's in the Ivy League for sure. So that definitely helped all of us out the backfield. Um, you know, also, um, our offensive coordinator, um, uh, Coach Morris, he, um, you know, he put he put the run game um, first this year, and um, you know, we, we ended up relying on it a lot. And, um, you know, it's just uh, it's great um, for him to you know put put faith in the run game and you know allow us to do our thing and you know basically uh, show. Um, you know, that we, we can run the football. So, you know, obviously, you know, credit goes to him as well. And, you know, I appreciate uh, what he's done so far. And, you know, just uh, all the uh, all the Yale fans and everything, uh, they're out supporting us every single game. Uh, all my Canadian, uh, Canadian fans and stuff, they've you know, been, uh, um, you know, been following me um, this season and stuff. And uh, just, uh, you know, that's, that's really nice, you know, to know that, you um, they're following one of their own, and, you know, I'm doing my best to uh, uh, try and, you know, make them proud. And, um, and uh, yeah, you know, it, it's really nice to see them out the Cornell game. You know, there's, there's a bunch of Canadians that's a little bit close to my hometown and stuff. See some of them come down for that game and stuff. So um, that was that was exciting. Um, and, and, yeah, so, uh, you know, I'll go back to, um, to everybody um, involved in the whole production this year happens to try the ball and obviously the defense getting us the ball back too and you know, there's just so many people involved um you know, directly and indirectly in the in the whole um grand scheme of things and uh and it's, uh you know I really appreciate everybody's help so um obviously you know I wouldn't be there without without all of them so oh thanks a lot appreciate it <laughs> you know you're mentioning things like that um you know you're, you get pretty serious uh uh for sure you know when you when we talk about guys like you know, I, I know you mentioned, uh, you know, guys like Colin Kaepernick, you know, to be able to, like, go from, you know, at one point, um, a guy like that was, uh, you know, in my shoes, so to say, or, you know, was it kind of in my situation, maybe. Um, somebody that can kind of relate to that. And then, you know, look at look at where he is right, he is right now, you know, playing for, playing for a Super Bowl this year. And, um, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty crazy just to think that, like, you know, a few years from now, you never know what could happen. Um, and, uh, you know, basically, um, it's, uh, yeah, the future's wide open. Uh, you, you never, you never know. So, um, yeah, I'll just keep working hard and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I, uh, I pretty, like, really spread in my, uh, I guess you could say, like, um, arsenal of, uh, of weapons, um, that I use on the football field, uh, I like to consider myself as a pretty balanced back. I'm not too like, like I'm, you know, I'd like to think that I'm, I'm, I'm not like so like a, a power runner or anything like that. Uh, I feel like I can, I can make some guys miss and um, run away from guys, and also, um, you know, run some guys over as well uh, if I need to. Um, so, um, I mean, obviously I'm a big back. I'm 220, 220 pounds or so. Um, so. You know, naturally people are gonna are gonna look at you before you you know step on the field and say, oh, that guy's power back or whatever. Especially at the collegiate level, we look at a lot of guys, a lot of running backs, you know, sub two hundred pounds. Um, but um, but yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I really have a favorite move or anything like that. If you're uh, if you're asking that, but uh, I feel like uh, yeah, you know, I kind of just go with the flow. And uh, running back is very much a, a position of reaction, um, and you kind of just. You can't really play anything out. Um, you can't go, oh, I'm going to hurdle that guy this play because 
you know, a lot of time when you do that, you know, you end up being flipped in your head. So <laughs> there's something like that. You kind of just have to, you know, react to what's happening in front of you and uh, be an athlete. And, um, and yeah, so uh, that's basically that's basically it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm actually, um, I'm heading back to Canada to train um, a little bit. Um, I'll watch you out a little bit a lot over the summer. Um, you know, uh, I'm actually also taking um, some classes back in my hometown um, just to get some of my credits under my belt over the summer. Um, you know, I'm a pre-med student, so I've um, got a pretty heavy course load all the time and um, trying to do whatever I can to sort of lighten that load, especially during the season. Um, so um, I can focus on, on football a little bit more and, and you know, performance in the field and stuff, obviously. Um, so I, that's what I'm doing over the summer. I'm going to do some class like that. Um, I'm also going to be uh, really working uh, a little bit, <laughs> trying to save up some money. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I think a lot of my training, um, I'm going to do a lot of speed-based training. I know I'm working with a track coach, Chuck Thompson, um, over the summer, um, back in my hometown. Um, I worked with him in the past. Uh, and he's, you know, he's a great guy, a great trainer, really understands um, you know, his athletes and stuff and um, their their needs and uh, how to make them faster. So we work with him. We, uh, we work in the gym a lot, uh, obviously. Um, always looking to get stronger. And um, just uh, do a little bit of on-field stuff with some of my, uh, <clears throat> some, some other guys um, from various uh, universities around uh, in Canada who also play, um, who, all, who all come back back home. Um, over the summer and stuff, so we got some facilities and stuff that we're uh, that we're going to be training at, and um, you know, doing some on-field stuff. We got a variety of uh, position groups, um, you know, between all of us, so we can pretty much get it all done. And um, I think, uh, hopefully, you never know. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to uh, convince some of my uh, my teammates to come up and uh, do a little a little training in the Great White North. So uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see if anybody. Uh, <laughs> I take some bait on that, but um, but yeah, it would be nice to see some of them up there too. So, um, <clears throat> I think uh, you're gonna see a lot, a lot more um, <clears throat> experienced Yale football team. Um, I mean, this year, a lot of stuff that was uh, that was new to us. Um, obviously, new coaching staff, a lot of uh, new um, for young players, um, guys who are new to the college game. We're, uh, you know, we're starting for us, and we're carrying a lot of the load um, for the football team. And obviously, with with that comes, uh, you know, mistakes and stuff that um, we'll lose you those close games, like we saw against Harvard. Um, you know, we had the lead at the end of the game there, and kind of let it slip away. And that was a big game for us. I feel like um, just confidence wise, because everybody was counting us out. Um, we were thirty three point underdogs or something like that. Um, and, you know, just to know that, um, you know, Bill sent that message to be like, hey, like, you know, we beat 10 earlier in the year, we're the Ivy League champions, and, um, you know, we're looking at Harvard right now, I think was finish number two or something like that, and, um, and we're hanging with them, we're actually beating them in the fourth quarter right now, and, you know, we're making a game out of it, we're not getting blown out. I think that sends a message to everybody else saying, like, hey, like, you know, when we put our stuff together, like, when we have everything, everything rolling, we can, you know, pretty much beat anybody. Um, or hang with anybody, and that was like you know. Keep in mind, you know, playing, playing without our our first, first, second, and third string quarterbacks. Um, we did that, so I mean, I think that says a lot. So I think this year, you know, um, we're we're gonna iron out some of the kinks. Um, another year, more experience, coaching staff wise and player wise, and you know, iron out the kinks in all of our in any of our systems. Um, make everything a little bit more fluid and, you know, just be a little bit more comfortable on the field as a team. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we've got a couple uh, couple big games on our schedule out of conference as well um, early on in the year. I think we're going out to California to play out there, so that'll be uh, interesting. Um, and, um, you know, a great experience as well. I think uh, Cal Poly, um, they're, they're one of the top-ranked FCS teams in the country, so... Um, that'll be great to, uh, you know, get that um, game under our belt and, um, you know, just, um, just yeah, you know, take it, we're going to take it one game at a time like we always do and like Coach Reno always, you know, um, basically preaches and, and yeah, um, you know, prepare one week at a time and 
knock them off one week at a time, I think. And, um, and uh, I think, uh, you know, the promising year, you know, we're going to take big steps forward, I think. <laughs> Any nicknames? Um, <laughs> I think, uh, well, some of the guys call me, uh, well, I know Coach Carmen, our old line coach, he called me the Canuck. <laughs> Canuck as, like, Canuck as in, like, uh, like Vancouver Canucks or like Canadian, you know what I mean? So calls me the Canuck. Um, I know. Um, what do you think? I don't know. There, there isn't one that's really like prominent that like everybody calls me. I've got like a. I've heard a few. You know, like some people call me like syrup. I mean, like maple syrup. <laughs> I've heard that one a couple times. Like um, um, I think some of the guys have been calling me the Savage. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why, but I've heard that one a couple times. Um, some of my linebackers say that. Um, uh, yeah, not, nothing too, nothing too crazy, but but uh, but yeah, uh, I think uh, I think Canuck is probably the most uh, the most used one. As per Coach Conlon, he's the one who sticks to that one. I think. <laughs> my name's Tyler Varga. Uh, I'm your running back. Uh, the uh, Yale University uh, Bulldogs um, from uh, Toronto, Canada, and uh, I just want to thank uh, uh, College Football Performance Awards, you know, for uh, recognizing me uh, for this uh, specialty for uh, All-Purpose Player Award, and um, um, and yeah, you know, I think uh, the future looks uh, looks bright for the Yale Bulldogs, and um, um, I think we're uh, we're gonna do some some big things next year. Um, and, uh, and yeah, go dogs.